Philadelphia, meantime, was one of the countless cities today holding vigils for the victims in Charlottesville. As Eyewitness News reporter Henry Rossoff tells us, a massive crowd descended on Center City to stand up against hate. A few hundred people stayed late into the evening, but this entire plaza was packed with people when all of this began, all standing in solidarity with the counter protesters down in Virginia. It stops now. Yeah. And I am unafraid. Tell me you're unafraid. I'm unafraid. Are you unafraid? I'm unafraid. About 2,000 people gather in the birthplace of freedom to stand up to what they believe is an oppressive force rising within our country. Now is the time for courageous self reflection and radical love. Candles lit here in the name of peace and equality stand in stark contrast to the tiki torches wielded by white supremacists marching through the streets of Charlottesville, Virginia this weekend. Philadelphia, that Pennsylvania, and that the United States does not accept KKK, does not accept bigots, does not accept Nazis. Event organizers like Vashti Bandy say they're standing in solidarity with the counter protesters who've clashed with white supremacists in Virginia for days. Various hate groups have converged on the tiny town after city leaders voted to take down a statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. Heather Heyer, part of the counter protest in Charlottesville, was killed when police say 20 year old James Fields rammed his car into a group of counter protesters. My heart just broke into little pieces, and you know, we really need to stand together and unite um, during these times. Separately, two Virginia state troopers monitoring events from a helicopter above were killed when their chopper crashed. But every time it happens, we need to come back stronger. Back in Philly, the vigil and rally included Mark Tinkleman, who just returned from Charlottesville. He went down there with a group called refuse fascism specifically to counter the hate. Yesterday after the attack, as I said, we, we got together with the people that were close to us um, and we said we're not going to be intimidated by this. At that point, we didn't know that someone had died, um, but, we, but nonetheless, we were not going to be intimidated. There was a pretty good police presence tonight, but nothing ever got out of hand at any point. Nothing like last night when a smaller group after a similar event to this marched onto the highway. In Center City, Henry Rossoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News.